Hey guys, how's it going? Hope you're good. Today we're going to be comparing the Amazfit BIP S and the Amazfit BIP, which I have both of them here, obviously. I've owned the BIP since basically it came out a couple years ago. It's actually my most watched video, the review I did of the Amazfit BIP. And the Amazfit BIP S is like the next generation of that watch, or at least the next version. So we are going to see what the difference is between them, whether it's worth upgrading to the BIP S, and what kind of upgrades the BIP S uh, provides. So let's go, let's take a look. Wee. So let's take a look at the specs first. Let's start with the original Amazfit BIP. Now this watch features a 1.28 inch reflective color display with a resolution of 176 by 176 pixels. The body is made of polycarbonate and features Corning Gorilla glass, which is slightly scratch resistant. The BIP features internal GPS, a heart rate monitor, an accelerometer, and an air pressure sensor. It features a massive 45 days of battery life and is IP68 water resistant. Now the Amazfit BIP S, which was released around about a year, a year and a half later after the BIP, features much of the same specifications. However, there are some key differences. For a start, the screen is slightly different. It's a transflective color display. The size of the screen and the resolution is the same, 1.28 inch and 176 by 176 pixels. However, you can see a difference if we do a direct comparison between these two screens. The BIP S, features a brighter display. It looks less of that blue tinge that you get in the Amazfit BIP. Uh, I find the screen in the BIP S to be superior. It has an always on display, which displays more information than the original BIP. The BIP S also features internal GPS and an upgraded heart rate sensor. So compared to the original BIP, the BIP S's heart rate monitor should be more accurate, which we will test in a little bit. It also features the accelerometer, but it does away with the air pressure sensor. The only other difference is that the BIP S is water resistant up to 5 ATM, so that's 50 meters, which makes it fully waterproof submerged in water, whereas the original BIP is only IP68 rated, which is water resistant up to 1.5 meters underwater. So those are the specs, but what is it actually like in a day-to-day -day basis? Which one is better to use? Which one is better value for money? Well, let's go into that now. I mentioned before that the screen, I think, of the BIP S is superior but what about everything else? Now both of these watches are reasonably attractive considering the very cheap price. From a distance it could be mistaken from an Apple Watch, I mean from a very big distance, but as you get closer it is very obvious that, that it is not nearly as advanced or nearly as attractive as an Apple Watch. The screen's very small, in both cases the screens are quite basic. You're not going to get the same experience as much more expensive smartwatches, but if you just want a fitness tracker with some added little extras then these are very good value for money. The design of both of these watches is nearly identical. The shape, the materials used, the only real difference I can tell, the only difference that I can see is that the colour of the body is slightly different with the original BIP being a deep black, whereas the new BIP S is slightly more grey, especially on the underside of the watch body. And while they both look decent enough, they are basically made of plastic, so you're not going to get that premium feeling. When I reviewed the original BIP, I was really surprised of how much technology they could get inside such a small and cheap device. I mean, it has the heart rate monitor, internal GPS, it has uh, the accelerometer for measuring steps and distance and all that kind of stuff. So. I am still really impressed if that's possible. However, there were some accuracy issues. Uh, I found that the heart rate monitor wasn't always accurate. I found that the pedometer also picked up steps when I wasn't really moving that much. Has the BIP S improved upon that? Well, I think it has. I certainly find that the heart rate monitor on the BIP S is more accurate. And how I can judge that is basically when I'm exercising, it picks up the uplift in heart rate much quicker than the original BIP. When I'm not doing anything, I don't get really weird readings where all of a sudden the heart rate goes up to 150, which probably isn't happening if I'm laying on my bed watching Netflix, which is 90% of the time these days. Now that's not entirely surprising as the heart rate monitor in the BIP S has been upgraded to the latest technology. Remember the original BIP is a couple of years old now, so the newer your smartwatch is probably the more accurate it's going to be. Now if you're specifically looking for a smartwatch for measuring fitness, for measuring health, then again the Amazfit BIP S is going to be the better option for you, not only because of that upgraded heart rate monitor, but also because of a slightly better GPS. Now when I reviewed the original Amazfit BIP at the time, it was probably the cheapest smartwatch that had both GPS and a heart rate monitor and it was really impressive for, at the time to have both of those features for around about $100 or even under $100. Now the BIP S 
Again, features both of those things. However, the GPS has also been upgraded. It's more accurate, it's quicker, and it uses less battery. The original BIP also only has four sports modes you can track, whereas the BIP S jumps this up to 10. The only major difference I've seen between the BIP and the BIP S is the software that both watches use. The operating system for the BIP S seems to have been upgraded. There are more options in the screen menus. The screen seems to scroll much more fluidly, much more responsively. It just seems to be more modern. So yeah, the BIP S definitely providing a smoother experience. Both of these watches allow you to control music from your smartphone once you connect through the Amazfit Health app. There's also an alarm, there's a weather report, and you can receive notifications from your phone to the watch if you again connect via the app. You can't reply to notifications, you can't reply to messages. You can see who's calling you and reject that call, but for anything else, you would need to go to your phone. So that's it guys, that is the Amazfit BIP S versus the Amazfit BIP. I would say the difference between the two is really incremental, this is not like a massive upgrade. The only major differences I really notice is the better, much better operating system, the much better software, smoother screen, brighter screen, and the upgraded heart rate monitor. Basically the number one feature of both of these watches is the battery life. The BIP can last for 45 days on a single charge. The BIP S can last for 40 days. Whether there will be a full update to the original BIP, remains to be seen. I really hope so. I really like the watch. I like the design. I like the long battery life. I will subscribe if you want to see more smartwatches, plenty more coming up and some smartphone reviews. But until then, I will see you around. Bye.